Southern California in the 1950s. How beautiful it was. That's my old hometown, Los Angeles. Beautiful picture. Clarity, internal combustion engines, no smog in the air. Streets are clean, yards are clean, houses are beautiful. Southern California in the 1950s. Anyway, I'm getting to uh, this clip. We and the British basically paid Germany to bomb ourselves in World War II. It's all about the money. The Windsors are not British, but German. Saxe Coburg Gotha. They changed their name shortly before World War I. The Dulles brothers, Alan Dulles and John Dulles, were junior lawyers who wrote the Treaty of Versailles, which punished Germany ending World War I, but gave rise to the Fuhrer, who later uh, was brought into the Republican Party by his good friend, former President Herbert Hoover. Uh, just a note here, you know, President Kennedy did fire Alan Dulles, uh, who was the co-author of the Treaty of Versailles, who was the head of the CIA over the Bay of Pigs operation in Cuba. Anyway, getting back, Hitler uh, contracted uh, with AT&T after he became chancellor to rebuild Germany's telephone system. He also contracted with the uh, E.H. Harriman Company uh, to rebuild all of Germany's railway lines, including the ones that later would go to the concentration camps. Hitler obtained uh, funding for the uh, Autobahn through uh, Chase Manhattan Bank in New York. The Colgate family, the Birdseye family, the DuPont families were all financial supporters. And Everything was basically insured by the British firm Lloyds of London. The Ford Motor Company built several manufacturing plants as a military subcontractor and later sued and got a settlement from the U.S. government after World War II for destruction of their plants in Germany. Uh, March 4, 1945, Germany detonated the first atomic bomb. Granted, it was small, but it was the first. Toward the end of the war, Eisenhower cut a deal with Hitler over uh, Germany's uh, nuclear uh, program the, through the uh, Bilderberg Agreement. Without it, we couldn't have completed our bombs to end the war with Japan. Fritz Thyssen, you know, uh, funded uh, Hitler's campaign uh, against President Hindenburg when he wanted to become chancellor. Later, after World War II, Thyssen also helped finance Eisenhower in his presidential campaign. Uh, in 1960, Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun did divorce. Um, he remained in Argentina and remarried. She moved to Canada. Adolf Hitler died in 1964 after suffering a massive stroke uh, out on a golf course in Argentina. Shortly before his death in 1972, Joseph Goebbels arranged for Eva Braun to be interviewed about her uh, life um, by the Canadian Broadcasting Company. It is hard to find, but it is out there. And in 1998, Eva Braun passed away with her family at her side. Now, as to the concentration camps originally set up as work labor group camps, similar to our FEMA camps, uh, those belonging to a cult got into the leadership positions of the camps, and we all know what the result was. Anyway, there is further reading in The Wall Street and the Rise of Hitler. And with that, we will see you in the next clip.